problem up here. We have x squared is equal to 300, and we have x cubed is equal to 125. So we have two problems up here. Go ahead and pause the video if you want to work these out. x squared is equal to 300. x cubed is equal to 125. Over here, you guys will remember that when we want to get rid of the square root, we want to have x all by itself. There's something special that we do to both sides of the equation. Whatever we do to the left, we have to do to the right. I am going to take square root, and I am going to take square root. Square root of x squared is going to give us an x. Square root of 300, that's going to be a calculator problem. We're going to put in 300, we're going to put in square root, and we're going to get something that's going to look a whole lot like this. I'm going to go ahead and write it up here. 17.3205, going to round to 1, just continues on, and I'm going to ask you guys, is this rational or is this irrational? You guys should all know by now that whenever we don't have something that comes out clean, we have a big ugly number that comes out like this we're dealing with something that's irrational. When we take the square root of something like 300 and it doesn't come out clean, we're dealing with an irrational number. Over here, I'm going to do almost the exact same thing. x cubed equals 125. If I want to get rid of a cubed over here, I have to do the same thing to the left side as to the right side. I'm going to take a cube root on this side. On this side, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to take a cube root on this side. Taking the cube root of the x cubed, taking the cube root of the 125. Looking at this, this is just going to give us our x. Looking over here, cube root of 125, you guys might figure out, and you probably already have, that 5 times 5 times 5 is equal to 125. 5 times 5 times 5 is equal to 125. So looking at this, our cube root here of 125 is just going to be equal to a 5. You guys can go ahead and check your work. Hopefully you guys already